Hello and welcome to Cisco Center of Excellence at New Horizon College of Engineering to the course Routing and Switching 2 for which the prerequisite is Routing and Switching 1 course, Topology Creation, IP Address Assignment and Routing using RIP has been covered in Routing Switching 1. So now we are going to configure access list. There are two types, either a standard access list or a extended ACL. So in the scope of this course, we have standard ACLs, which can be a named ACL or a numbered ACL. In a standard ACL, only the source is specified in the statement. Destination is not specified. So it is advised always to apply this or configure the standard ACL as close as possible to the destination. So we are going to consider this topology containing two LAN. One is 192.168.20.0. Other is 192.168.10.0. And the public network which where we have the server. Already the topology has been prepared. IP address have been assigned and routing has been configured on the uh, in the topology. We are going to write a numbered ACL. 10, the number 1 to 99 can be used for standard ACL. So given to us as 10 to deny the network 10.0 to access the server. All others that is from 20.0, it should be allowed. So for that, we will go to the topology. Now we need to first identify which is the source, which is the destination and which is where we are going to configure the ACL. So a lot of analysis will be required for this. Here source is 10.0 network here and destination is server from source to destination. So the closest router which is uh, closest to the destination is router 3. So we have to configure ACL closest to the destination. We will go to the global configuration mode and write access list use the number 10 which is given to us and then we have to say deny or permit we are denying the network 192.168.10.0 followed by the wildcard mask 0.0.0.255 wildcard mask is invert of the subnet mask in acl syntax we have to give the wildcard mask rather than the subnet mask and then by default the ios will append a deny any statement so automatically all others will also be denied but we do not want that we want 20.0 network to still connect to server so for that we should write a statement access list 10 the same numbered ACL in the same ACL we will write another statement that permit any all others should be allowed only 10.0 should be denied all others should be allowed so by default now one deny any will be appended at the end always the statements are matched in the sequential order it is advised to give to give the most specific statement first and then the generic ones so first it will match with 10.0 if it matches then it will be denied and then it will go to the next all others should be permitted so it will be permitted and deny any will not have any role now now we have to see the interface. The closest interface to the uh, destination is G0 by 0 and you need to analyze the flow of traffic. The traffic from 10.0 comes like this and on router 3 it enters on interface S011 and leaves on G0 by 0 for the destination. So it is leaving, it is going out. It is coming from the source, it is going out on G0 by 0 from out of the router R3. So we will go to int G0 by 0 and apply the access list that we have configured. IP access group, the command is IP access group and the access list number that we have used 10. And then we have to say out. But before I configure this, let me check whether I am able to connect with initially without access list to the server so it is not allowing because we have already blocked it you can also check here this will be successful so we have already blocked it if i just remove this if i say no to this command and now if we check the connectivity we will be able to ping from pc to server 
it is successful the moment i apply it on the interface the moment i'll apply it on the interface ip access group 10 out if i apply it on the interface the access from 10.0 network you can take any pc from 10.0 network it will fail from pc2 also now if we check it will be failed it is failing if you remove it again it will become successful because we had done routing make sure routing has been enabled before you start access list configuration right next we are going to see the named acl in named acl we are going to use a name access grant which will allow only the laptop from 20.0 network to connect to 10.0 network all other devices from 20.0 network should be blocked so this is the source this is the destination the closest router to the destination is router 2 and we should apply it on router 2 so we go to the configuration mode now the syntax for named acl is ip access list you have to give the keyword standard and the name of access list so the name is access grant be very careful in giving the name and the moment we click this we enter the named acl here when we did the configuration in a single statement the number and the deny permit statements were there but in named acl we enter the named acl mode where we give, need to give the permit and deny statement so what we need to do is we need to only allow the laptop to connect to the 10.0 network so the ip address is 192.168.20.5 of this laptop which we will not use dhcp because if we use dhcp every time this will keep changing so in my acl i am using this 20.5 so i will keep it static before that if before i configure entire uh, con uh, entire uh, acl just check i Currently, I am able to ping from PC to PC also. From laptop also to this PC, I am able to ping. But later, once I configure my ACL, from PC, I should not be able to ping to any of the PCs of 10.0 network. Only from laptop, I should be able to connect to this network. All other devices from this network should be blocked. So, we will write permit. Now, I can write 192.168. 8.20.5 that is the ip address of the source which is the laptop and i want exact matching i want each and every bit to be matched right exact host the in, the entire ip address should be matched so the wildcard mask will be 0, .0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.0 0. wherever we want matching the wildcard bits are 0 so i can write this or if whenever we have the wildcard mask 0.0.0.0, .0 we can also use the keyword host. So I will use the keyword host 192.168.20.0, sorry 20.5. And then I will say deny from this network all other things should be denied. So deny 192.168.20.0.0.0.0.255 the invert of the subnet mask slash 24 255.255.255.0 if you do invert it is 0.0.0.255 and remaining if see we are talking only about 20.0 network if there would have been another network over here or anywhere else that should have been allowed to connect to 10.0 so by default we said there will be a deny any so all others will also be denied so to avoid that we will say permit any anything else apart from this should be allowed to connect to 10.0 network and then we will exit the NACL mode. We will go to the interface in G0 by 0. Again, if you see the traffic from outside, from any of the network, it will come here and on router 2, it will leave on G0 by 0. It is going out of router 2 on G0 by 0, which is the closest interface to the destination. So we are going to into G0 by 0 and the command is IP access group. And now we need to give the name. Give it very properly. If you make a mistake, 
it will not take it. IP access group, the name of ACL that I had configured and out. Let us see whether it has been blocked. Earlier it was from PC, I was able to ping PC2. From PC5, again I will try. It says failed. But from laptop, it will be able to connect. If I take a laptop, from laptop if you connect, we are able to connect from laptop. From other PC also if you want, you can check. I'll just delete this. I'll take another scenario. From this PC, let's try. It is failing. Right? So this is how we have to configure. So a lot of analysis will be required in configuring access list. Last, we will see the configuration of securing the virtual terminal lines of R1 by configuring a numbered ACL number I am going to use is 5 so that only PC0 can access the command line interface. So here on router only PC0. So PC0 first we'll check what is the IP address of PC0. It is 20.10. So on router 1 we have to say first you need to configure we have to give the password. I have already given the password, enable mode password. So first you have to give the host name. Make sure we have already discussed the SSH configuration in routing and switching one course. So host name is you have to give R1, which I have already given. You have to do SSH configuration. So SSH configuration I have already configured. If you have to see, we can go show running configuration. So enable secret password that I have used is the enable password that I have used is enable password that I have configured already is 1234 and for SSH username I am using is Divya and password that I am using is 4321. Okay, SSH configuration has already been done. However, if you want, I will, uh, for uh, reference, uh, for just a refreshment, I will just discuss once again here. So, once you have given the host name, then you have to give the enable password. Enable secret we will use in the encoded encrypted form. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we are going to give username the where password we will again give secret because it has to be in encrypted form 4321 and then we have to give the IP domain okay IP domain we have to give as you can use anything IP domain name we will use CCNA and then we will go to the VTY lines before that crypto key generate we'll generate the RSA algorithm the key key generate using RSA because I had already created do you want to replace I'll just say yes now it will ask when the moment you give crypto key generate RSA it will ask how many bits you want the size of the key um, what, how many bits should be in the key? So you can give in multiples of 512. I am using 1024. And SSH has been enabled. Now we will go to the line VTY 0 to 4. 4 users at a time. And then we can have, let's say, um, login local and transport input SSH. So this is the con uh, configuration for SSH covered in routing switching 1. So now we simply have to write the command for that only PC0 should be able to access the VTY lines. So for that we have to write the, we are taking a numbered ACL, access list 5, permit, only 192, we will use the word host. Or let me show you using the wildcard mask 192.168.20.10. The IP address is 20.10. Once again we will check. Yes, it is 20.10. 
and followed by the wildcard mask 0, 0.0.0. Earlier I had shown using the keyword host because wildcard mask was 0. So whenever you have wildcard mask this, you can also use the keyword host. And now we have to say access list 5 deny any. So automatically there is a deny statement. However, if you want, you can write deny any. And then we will go to the VTY lines where we have to apply. Now we are not applying it on the interface. We have to apply it on VTY lines. Line VTY 0 to 4 because it is the virtual terminal that we are talking about. And we have to say IP, ac not IP, access class. The command is class. It is not group. Access class, the access list number that I have given and in. Because the traffic will always enter from PC0, we are trying to access the router command line interface virtually, virtual terminal. So we are trying to enter the router. We are trying to send something into the router. So it is in. So how to verify? Go to PC0, command prompt. If I write, the command is SSH space hyphen L. It is not one, it is L. Then give the username and the IP address of which device you want to do virtual terminal. So G0 by 0 has been given IP address 192.168.20.1. So PC0 wants to access the command line interface of router 1. So we will give the IP address of router 1 G0 by 0. It asks the password. You have to give the password of the username Divya. So the username was Divya and password was 4321. We have entered the router and in enable mode it will ask the password. For enable mode password is 1234. Please document the passwords. If you give wrong it is gone. Now we have entered. Now again we can access virtually. Configure T. Whatever configuration you want you can do virtually. Not through the uh, not using the console cable directly virtually you can configure so if i try doing from pc5 same thing let us try doing from pc5 ssh space hyphen l and then if i give divya and 192.168.20.1 it says connection refused why? Because we have allowed only host PC0 with 20.5, 20.10 IP address. All others have been denied. So this is how we configure ACLs named, numbered and secure the VTY lines. Thank you.